it can be some sort of training alhamdulillah whenever we look around we have all kinds of expertise from medical to education you name it it is only that they need to think and ask and leadership it is the role of the leadership to mobilize them to encourage them to get involved so that moving forward our future is much better than our present the way our present is now much better than our past it would take lot of efforts concerted efforts commitment again we need to ask who we are what we are all about what can we contribute not only to the islamic community but to the community at large and i have no question in my mind that we have lot to offer lot to offer to everyone in terms of medical expertise alhamdulillah we at least have one small clinic run by our muslim friends there is no reason we should not support that effort and expand it and also start thinking about more of such efforts there is no end to that list as to what we can do what we should be doing but the important thing is that we all do some soul searching we all do some brainstorming we all interact with each other in a very positive way if we really look at it in last few years or 20 some years whenever there were some differences they were petty they are petty when we look at what is our goal what are common goals and what are our challenges there shouldn't be any conflicts which cannot be resolved we all know that difference of opinion is a blessing we can utilize it we can complement each other the problem takes place when we think ours is the only right way and as they say here and if you don't go our way then you go to the highway that should not be our approach our approach should be what islam has taught us which is let's join together let's hold each other's hands let's be united and in that unity i must say even we if we look back at the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the women equally participant participant they equally contributed they were teachers they were educators they set good examples they went to masajids and they raised children in the nicest possible way today alhamdulillah we have those families who we know personally that the women in those families they took that path of islam they raised their children properly and now they are successful young people and they are contributing to the community at large they are raising their children in a very very nice way which is very comforting to all of us so again i will end by saying that we should not live in isolation we are now living in 911 era islam is very well known in its community at large in america we are here to stay gone are those days 30 some years back when myself and my friends we used to say we will get all the higher education and then we will go back and settle in pakistan that we know is not the case we are all one by one settling in this land of opportunity that has lot to offer to us 
we can learn a lot from midstream america and midstream americans their sense of accountability their sense of responsibility their sense of doing things properly more in a perfectionistic way in a way these are all the teachings of islam which we forgot which we did not act upon but now we are in a country where we realize mostly there are honest people they are straight forward they are friendly they are accommodative they respect they respect us yes there are challenges created by some negative people around the world the muslims challenge for us is how to neutralize that image and do things to present islam in a positive way present islam the way it should be presented if we could share the real teachings of islam i am sure most americans particularly educated americans they would appreciate because there is no question that they can learn a lot from it too for example what can islam offer to america or muslims uh, muslims like us from all our cultures could bring in and how could they enrich the american culture well First of all this all starts from self from within if we do some soul searching and ask ourselves hard questions that in our day to day life are we being good muslims are we leading the life the way islam wants us to first thing that would happen is that we will refine ourselves more we do that more we it would reflect from our actions around us people would start accepting us as straight forward honest people who say what they mean and they mean what they say now if we go back to the teachings of islam we are taught that we should be good to our neighbors we can ask ourselves are we really a neighborhood does not mean just the next door neighbor it means the community at large do we feel for the land where we are living are we contributing are we donating to good causes where we are living yes they may not be per se muslim causes but if we think again good causes in some ways they are islamic causes islam teaches us to extend ourselves to help others and those and that's what mostly those charities around us do we should tell ourselves there is no question why i should not be supporting my local police fire department and even donate to them because they are protecting us because they come to our rescue when we need them and there can be so many other areas where as a good muslim we can make contributions and we should not be per se after thrusting our religion on others or doing things hoping that they understand that i am doing only because i am a muslim and i want to convert them no because all the teachings of islam they tell us to do good things to be good to ourselves and be good to others earlier when i said some of the characteristics of americans being honest 
being friendly, being accommodative. Well, we can easily say all these things have been taught to us by Islam. We need to do more of it. Um, <clears throat> you did not mention anything about IED. Uh, maybe also related. Uh, I can put together both uh, pieces about the schools. So let me ask you this question. Come here. What, like the school here, uh, the, what is the status of Islamic education? Sure. Um, what challenges do you see and what opportunities do you see in the future? Same. Alhamdulillah, we now have two Islamic, full-time Islamic schools in Delaware. When I tell some friends outside of the state, they are very surprised because for the longest time I have been telling them that we are hoping and trying to have one. And now they say, all of a sudden you have two? Yes, we do. And thanks to Brother Naveed Bakar and his uh, wife Amna that they spearheaded these efforts in many different ways. Yes, it is true that the dream of having an Islamic school, full-time Islamic school, was there 20 years back. But being a very involved Muslim in the community in Delaware, I have to admit, we were slow. But now we have some momentum. We should keep it up. If we get lost just on what we are doing and start celebrating it, yes, there is reason to celebrate, but we, we need to think much beyond that. We need to think about the future. What about those children who are now in 6th, 7th, and pretty soon they will be and more of them would be in 6th, 7th, 8th grades. If they choose to, if their families choose to, and many of them would, where would they go? Would they, again, as some family uh, community members did, start traveling to far places like Philadelphia or Baltimore? It is not practical. Dora schools 8th grade. So talk about high school. We are not so we definitely need to think about education for our children for high school, for 9th through 12th grades. Like other challenges, it is also a challenge. But I feel very confident about our community that in the past the community has taken challenges and they were able to deal with them. One more time I have to say that leadership is very important. People who are in that role, they should take it very seriously and they should mobilize resources. It will come down to several things we will have to do. Yes, we will have to think about the curriculum. We will have to think about the funds. We'll have to think about the location. We will have to think about how to materialize it. It's not going to be easy, but that does not mean that we give up. That means we need to double our efforts. And if we do that, time passes, it really flies. We have seen that. 20 years passed and only last year we were able to materialize the dream of full-time school. So, starting today, we need to start those efforts for fundraising, for increasing the awareness in the community and mobilizing our resources of all kinds which are available to us. I don't think that one day we would reach, at least for foreseeable future, I cannot think about it, though everything is possible that one day we may even go beyond the high school. And the reason I'm saying, and maybe I would not have been able to say that two years back, but now when I hear that at least there is one such example on the West Coast, where under the leadership of Brother Hamza Yusuf, 
they are buying a property on University of Berkeley campus. It's a $4 million property. And their envision is of Brother Hamza and his group to create a university, a higher center for higher education and training. I look forward to that day when the doors of that institution open and we are able to train real Islamic scholars of high integrity and knowledge who can then spread the word properly in all parts of this country and they are able to have positive dialogue and discussions with non-Muslim friends. So let's take one step at a time and right now focus our efforts on the next project which should be about high school. My understanding is that at some level there are already some discussions but we need to get serious and pay more attention to it. Okay. Um, you obviously don't want to offend people, right? You have three names in the beginning, in the beginning of Islam, 